Hello and welcome to the next video. So in this video we're going to add a frame camera imagery into ArcGIS Pro. In the last video we did the data preparation. So we looked at all the metadata, we had a look through our data set and we've updated our frames table and our camera table. If you haven't watched that video or you haven't completed those steps please go back and do that now. Okay so the method we're going to use is creating a mosaic data set and then adding the imagery that way. So the way to do this is to open up the catalog pane, find your database that's associated with your project, right click on it and select new mosaic data set. Once this new geoprocessing window opens up, give it a name. and select a coordinate system. You can search through all the coordinate systems or you can just select the same coordinate system as your current map. That's all you need to do for that one. So once you've filled out those details, press run. Okay, so that's completed. We've got a new mosaic data set. I've called mine frame camera. That's been added into the table of contents on the left hand side. However, currently there's nothing in it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add those images. It's important to note that I've already done the data preparation. Those frame tables and the camera tables are set up. So this should be pretty seamless. Right click on frame camera, the newly created mosaic data set. Select add rasters. This will give you this new geoprocessing window and it's worth having a look at this, working out what all the different options do. If you hit the drop down here for raster type, you've got absolutely loads of choice of different types of data you can put in here. From generic rasters to uh, Iconos, Landsat, different types of satellites. Uh, there's a lot of choice in there for what you can put in. So we're going to find frame camera, select that. Once we've done that, if you move over to the right and hit select properties, the little yellow button on the right. Here you've got three options, general, processing and frame camera. You select frame camera, you can add your frame camera data, frame camera CSV that we've updated earlier. So I've navigated to mine and I'm going to select camera CSV. Very important you get these the right way around. Camera goes in frame in camera input table and frames goes in the frame table. Once that's there, Select Geoprocessing, open up the Ortho Rectification tab, choose DEM. And here you can select a DEM to do some Ortho Rectification. So if you have elevation data, you can navigate to that. I'm using a tile of DTED. I'm going to check the, tick the Geoid box and I'm going to click OK. Once I've done that, I need to put in my frames table. So I'm simply going to click Add the frames table. Give it a second. Once it's happy, you can just check a few boxes. So I'm going to calculate statistics, build pyramids, I'm going to build thumbnails and update overviews. And press run and see what happens. This might take a few seconds so I'll pause the video. Okay that process is completed now. It took around two minutes which isn't bad. Uh, it's worth bearing in mind that, like all things when you're using uh, any bit of software, it's going to take a different amount of time depending on what system you're using. On my old PC that was a lot less powerful, that might have taken 20 minutes. However, I've managed to get it done in two minutes. Uh, if you're really interested, you can read through some of the details. However, we're just going to zoom to the imagery and have a look. And see, uh, it's popped up on the map there, just next to Cardiff. So let's zoom in and have a look. Okay, one of the first things you'll notice when looking at it, that the imagery isn't completely square. And that's just a result of that ortho rectification with process uh, we've carried out. So because we've added a DEM, it's tried to match that imagery to the ground as much as possible. And that's why you'll notice the lines around the outside aren't square. Whenever you've carried out any ortho rectification process, you'd hope to see this. 
give it a few seconds to load, then we'll compare it to the underlying data and see how accurate it is. Okay, so it's worth noting that my internet connection is pretty slow. It's taken a while for those background maps to update. But already, just looking at this Esri base map, we can see that the result looks pretty accurate. The river lines up well in the south and the east of the imagery. And we can see the railway line coming in from the uh, northwest. Looks like it lines up well as well. At this stage, what I like to do is check a few different data sources compared to my imagery just to make sure it's accurate. Uh, I've got a good feeling about this. However, I'm just going to flick through a few different data sets and we'll have a look, see how accurate the result is at this stage. OK, so now I've changed the background from mapping to imagery. And we can see straight away that it seems to line up pretty well around the edges, as we would expect. Let's zoom in and use the swipe tool to see how good the result is towards the center of the imagery. OK, so at this stage, it looks pretty good. Uh, features are lining up pretty well with that reference imagery and our mosaic data set. So I'm pretty happy with that. So now we're at a stage, really, where I've got some imagery into Arc Pro. We can see that it's pretty accurate when we line it up with that reference imagery. Now, I've got a choice, really, depending on what I want to use this for, uh, depends on what I'll do next. If I just want to make a basic image map or use it myself, I'm pretty much at a stage where I can carry on. However, if I want to make some of those 3D products that we looked at in previous videos, or I want to use this uh, to create some stereo imagery and view that in stereo, then there are further stages that need to be carried out. It's also possible that if you've got to this stage, your imagery won't line up as well with some of the underlying imagery. And that could be for a number of reasons. Perhaps the uh, exterior orientation information you've got from your metadata isn't very accurate for whatever reason. So what we need to do now is block adjustment. During that process, we're going to add GCPs and tie points throughout the imagery to really try and increase the accuracy, to get a good result. From that, we can create some 3D products. So I look forward to the next video where I'll take you through the workflow for that. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comments and remember to like, subscribe to the channel. Thank you.